Good day boys and girls, it's Colin here back again with a special Northern Ireland 100 assembly. Today we're going to go to Cumber. Cumber is in County Down, not far from Belfast. And we're going to be looking at potatoes today, namely the Cumber Spud or the Cumber Potatoes. How many potatoes, types of potatoes, do you know? And we're going to find good potatoes growing in Cumber. Before that, let's sing the song Stop and let me tell you. Before we sing our joy song, we're going to learn about the joyful spuds of cumber. Here we go. We're in a field today, a potato field, and many of your parents will have heard of the cumber spud. Cumber is a town in Northern Ireland. We're just outside Cumber, about three miles, but all around Cumber, you'll see the beautiful fields. And at this time of year, they're either green, but they're actually brown because they're potato fields, and they're being they're being planted, and they're going to be harvested hundreds of acres of potato fields known as the Cumber Potato. So this is a farm we've come across where they're actually, the, it's a potato farm. They do all sorts of farming. But today we're gonna to be talking about potato farming and Cumber, the Cumber Spud. This is a little spot. So we're gonna see what's in here. We might find some tractors. So this is a farm. Whoa! Do you know what sort of tractor this is? Ford? No, not a Ford. New Holland? No, it's red. It's just definitely not in the shed because it's a Massey Ferguson 313125. Here we come to the potato farm and there's tractors everywhere. There's red tractors, there's green tractors. That's a Jutes tractor. And lots of tractors are in the fields today and they're planting and they're, they're getting ready for the harvest. They're planting the potatoes in about roughly four months time in the summertime because this is the springtime, the summertime, the potatoes will come out. Here are lots of boxes. These are little boxes put in where they would be, the little seed potatoes would be put into. And you can see all the different ones. We'll see in a wee second how they divide them out, how they get the seed. And these are really, really good potatoes. These are known as a cumber spud, but there's different types of potato as well. You can see some of the big boxes. Whenever the potatoes have been harvested, and another wee Massey Ferguson, the potatoes then when they've been harvested, we'll see some over here, they're put into boxes. These are like ton boxes. And here you can see some of the big, big potatoes. Look at the size of some of these spuds. Wow! The difference, the, the smaller ones are used for seed potatoes. And these are the big, big potatoes. Did you know whenever a seed is planted, a little seed potato is planted, well, then once it's under the ground, under the soil, really good cumber soil, or in this particular case, there's the cumber potato, it germinates and there are lots of different seed potatoes come out of the, out of the stem. And one potato can give up to 15 potatoes. Up to fi this wee one can develop and give up the 15 big potatoes like this here. Not only that one, there's some other really big ones, different shapes, sizes, colors. And yet this original one, it dies because it's given off its goodness and then it dies and up to 10, 12, 15 potatoes can grow from one baby potato. And that reminds me, it's a lovely lesson. It reminds me of the Lord Jesus. He's the one who gave his life, that we can have life and hundreds and thousands and millions of people are born again by believing in God, by believing in God's promise and God's son, the Lord Jesus. So even potato gave us life that other potatoes can grow. So that's why whenever the farmer's planting his potatoes, other potatoes can grow and you can enjoy your dinner. All different shapes and sizes. And we're going to go inside and have a look at what actually happens next. This here, the tractor's hooked onto here and this grabs the box, lift the box up. 
and this is full of potatoes, 100,000 millions of potatoes. And this is Farmer Ben, and this is the planter, the machine on the back of the tractor that is used to plant the potatoes. This is Ben in his 3085. You can see the tires are quite narrow to go through the tracks, the, the, the drills of the potato field. And that's going to be put on the seed to go into the field to plant the potato. And whenever it's planting, there's like a plow in the back of it. So it, it plants the seed, then the furrow, the drill uses this to cover it up as well. Wonderful technology today. This is Farmer Ben's tractor, and very interesting machine here for um, putting in the potatoes. At the front of it, a fertilizer, then your seed goes here, and they're planting the potatoes. Then after the fertilizer goes in to give it a good start, the seed potato goes into the ground, and the back of it is the, the ply, it covers up the potato with the soil, and then nature takes its course, and that's when the wee seed will then start to grow and develop and germinate, and then other wee, other wee potatoes will come from that little potato. And then about four months or five months later on, the potatoes are dug up and that's when you can have your dinner and your chips and your crisp and your um, all sorts of potato salad. So many meals can be made, shepherd's pie can be made from a uh, potato. Can you think of any meals you can use to eat your potato? Just from a little seed comes your potato. Wonderful. So this is Ben and his forklift. And the potatoes have been brought in and they're going to be sorted out. They're in their ton boxes. You see it says seed on it. And they're going to be sorted out into different shapes, sizes. Good potatoes, bad potatoes. There's navin potatoes, there's rooster potatoes. Mars Piper. But these are seed potatoes, little small ones. And they'll be brought over to this machine set in. Then you go underneath to tip it up and goes into the confer belt and it's brought along the different rotations, brought along to here and out. And the men would physically stand here and anything that's bad goes into one box, anything that's good can be used for seed, can go into another box, then it's taken out into the field to be used for seed. So you can see the machine, it's very dusty, very soily, because it comes in, there's a box of potatoes been tipped in now. Of course, when potatoes are left in the field, all sorts of things are lifted. There, there could be stones or rock or potatoes. So they need to be sorted out because you can't go to shop and buy a bag of potatoes if it's full, half full of stones. And you want good potatoes. You don't want potatoes that are maybe bad or a little bit bad. So these are separated out and are used for waste. Then whenever we go over here, the potatoes are bagged. The potatoes are then bagged into a 25 kilogram bag, and you can see all the different sorts of spuds. You've got Kerr's Pink, you've got Pentland Dell, Record, British Queen, Marsh Piper, Navin Potatoes, Home Guard, Golden Wonder, Dunbar Standard, or Rooster Potatoes. So they're all divided up and, of course, labelled accordingly, depending what type of potato. So for you, you might just think it's just a potato. Here's an interesting one here called Waste. This is disregarded. It's not good for the customer because they're going to buy the potato, they don't want anything that's rough or it's damaged. But whenever I think of potatoes, they remind me of children, because uh, sometimes at school we think it's only important that the children are on sports day, only the fast children. On a test day, only the children get really high grades on their test. Or whenever it comes to whatever reason, it's only children are well-dressed, are really well-groomed, nice hair, nice features. But when God looks down upon us, he's not interested in any of that. He doesn't care if you're smart or not smart, if you're a fast runner or you can't run, if you're good at remembering your, your homework or forget about it, or if you're good at learning or not. Whenever he looks at us, he does not see us as waste at all. He sees us as creatures, or as little children created in the image of God. And the Bible says God does not make a respecter. In other words, he's no respecter of persons. He doesn't have favorites. And remember that because in the world today, everyone's got favorites, but God does not have favorites. He loves each of us equally. And remember that it's one of the most important lessons in life. No matter how people treat you, how people respect you, God treats you equally with everybody else. No matter the color of your skin, how old you are, your, your background, where you live, who you live with, if you live in the country, live in the city, 
If you live with one parent or two parents or lots of kids or just a single child, God does not make any difference. He loves you with an everlasting love. That's why when you go through life, think of the potato, think of the little seed, the one who, and think of Jesus who gave us life for you because he loves you. He wants you to be in heaven forever with God. So next time you're eating a potato, you remember the background where it comes from, the farmers out in the field, they're seeding, they're harvesting, they're bringing in their crops, they're working hard just to give you food on your table. And it's a wonderful lesson for all of us to enjoy uh, what God gives us to eat, even the lesson of the little potato. Nothing is rejected in God's eyes whenever it comes to children, whenever it comes to people. So we hear the finished product, the spuds are in a bag, and people can come and they can buy them, pay the price of the spud, throw them under, over the shoulder, and go home and say to Joanna, Happy Christmas, that'll keep you going another few months. <laughs> That was really good. I love learning about the spuds. When I'm eating my potatoes, my purdies, my spuds, I'm full of joy. So that's saying I've got the joy, joy, joy. Not in my spud, but down in my heart. Here we go. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Jesus died in my heart. We're back again tomorrow going somewhere different, talking about something else. See you. Yeah, 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 yeah.